So, where do you want us to start? Could you introduce yourselves for us? I'm Paddy. And John? That's John. We're building this wagon for uh, Southside Travellers. They asked us would we volunteer. We two of us had to chat together and we said we'd give it a try. It's turning out okay, hopefully. Hopefully it's a, a, a blast from the past, really and truly. You know, just uh, something for the younger generation to know what the generation before us really went through and lived in and all that. So it's just something nice. Like. <laughs> It's important for a traveller men to obviously have a, a safe space where they can gather and come together and get involved in cultural projects. I am Geraldine Dunn and I'm the director of Southside Travellers Action Group. It's a local organisation that covers uh, traveller needs and services in Dunleary Ratdown. So it ranges from five core programmes, which is educational, training, accommodation, health, youth and advocacy. By coming here today and working on a project, you're kind of gaining cultural skill sets and being able to practice them and showcase them and have a safe space where you can have a social aspect of getting away. Men talk shoulder to shoulder. So perfect thing is men shed because they're work, you know, men are working and they're talking. This is your little pan box. They kept their pots and pans in there, whatever they had. Some people hadn't any probably at them in them days. This is your rack. There's a cover, a canvas cover comes down over that. So when you pull into a camp, you put your harness in there and you pull your cover down over to keep it dry or you put a bale of hay in it to keep it dry for to feed the horse. And if they had big families, they'd put a cover all around the four wheeler underneath and they'd have two or three bales of straw and they'd sleep under there as well if they had big families. Underneath the press bed in the wagon, you put two or three small children, mother and father, up on the bed. and Sort of the elders asleep out here, or sometimes they had what you call a shelter tent. You know, they used to make a tent. And, and that was it. But like, without the, the lads in the workshop now, it would have been a lot more difficult for us. You know, we had to cut the wood and all ourselves. But all the lads in the workshop are very obliged. They go out of the way to help you, you know, so any, any little difficulties we have, we just have a chat with Jerry and, He'll help us out as best he can. So. Without him, we'd be lost, really, you know. You know, that's the walk on that is just so personalised. They've put themselves into it. They've they've created a, something that's unique to them. It's not a copy of something, you know, that, that somebody else made. It's they've had their own personalities into it. Well. My name is Jerry Farrell, and uh, I'm a joiner. I've been in this business for 40 odd years. Lots of people used to come up here, just felt easy being up here, whether it be walking you know, in the vegetable garden or whether it was uh, just walking around and seeing what was going on, what we're making in the joinery shop and all that. But there was a, a nice sense of easiness up here. And then from that, that's where I started thinking that I could do a few other little things as well. And uh, Geraldine had this idea about the building the wagon because they were hoarding out wagons for different events and all that, and the idea, they came up with the idea that maybe they might be able to build their own wagon. So all they needed was somewhere to be able to do that. And the fact that we have a joinery shop here, and we have a coffee shop and a little restaurant. So, you know, there's lots of, everything is there. It's just a matter of joining up all the dots. And uh, it has gone very well for the last six months. They'll all be cut out of that now. All right around. And they'll be painted in as well. And John, he has another piece for the top. That'll be going up there in the centre. Uh, you're too small, John. I always told you that. The men's shed originated with Southside Travellers Action Group, and um, I suppose it's a great model that's used worldwide, but um, um, to expect people just to come in and learn about mental health or learn about addiction, um, you, you need to have a reason. We have reasons for everything we do, like if I want to play golf or if I want to go swimming, it's because I like it and I want to engage in that process. I don't go and do stuff that I'm not interested in. Um, and I suppose the, the men's shed is a place where men come together and um, with a, a common idea and a, a, um, 
look to progress that idea and work together at those ideas and that's where the Wagon project came out. Um, my name's Peter O'Reilly, I'm Traveller Mental Health Coordinator for Community Healthcare East. It's widely recognised that the traveller community would be facing a crisis around mental health at the minute. Um, but underpinning all those social determinations of, uh, I suppose, accommodation, employment, education, um, is racism and discrimination. And young travellers, when they're coming out of school, they, they want to go into employment, they want to get gained employment, but what they're having to do is hide their identity, pretend they're not who they are. And they might go into a, a, a whether you're going into a factory or a workplace, so they're sitting at a tea table and uh, let's call it the K word. So if you're a young traveller and you're working in a, in a premises, like, they'd often hear conversations like that. And um, that, must eat, that must eat your soul, having to sit in a place and pretend you're someone that you're not and listen to your, listen to your culture being um, degraded like that must be, um, must be very hurtful. You know? Well, I'd love to see the, the young people carrying on the tradition. You know, really would because it's their life, it's their life, you know. They were there that way and they didn't get it easy travelling around the country in wagons and tents and winter, summer, hail, rain or snow. They had to put up with what they had, you know. I'm Jessica Doyle from Southside Traveller Action Group. I'm in task. And I'm Natasha Cabinet from Southside Traveller Action Group and I'm in task too. We're building like a model in small wagons. We were building a big one, like, you know, taking out an old one apart and rebuilding it. But now we're after making a lot of small ones to bring home with us. Exhibit A. <laughs> How long have you been doing it for now? We've had been in it a good few weeks, yeah. but like to build one, like it only take like a half an hour. Yeah when you're actually concentrated in it, but I'm giving mine to my nanny. Just like, she lives just a few doors down from me. And I was telling her I was up here and she was asking me to make her one. And then Jerry ended up saying we were making them. So I'm just gonna give it to my nanny and leave her out it in her house. Years ago, it was never, like, travelers were known for fixing things and making things and all like, and now that we can go back and we can actually fix things and make things as well. Like, it's very important for young travelers, especially. And even out travellers, like to bring them up here for them just to remind them like of their past, like it'd be nice for them. We'd love to come back, wouldn't we? We've yeah. all said we'd love to come back. Yeah, all, one of us has turned around and said, No, we don't want to come back. Like all of us yeah. know, like everyone heard that I know loves it anyways. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. and it is handy, like at least now, like if you need to build something or oh, yeah. something breaks at home, yeah. like just get the glue out. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stick it up and get the The wagons are only uh, a kind of a sideline. The main emphasis would be, as far as I can see, is that they get a sense of community and a sense of belonging up here. That we're all learning from each other and that they get a sense of uh, easiness and comfort being up here, which I think they are. And I think we can, we can build on that and we are building on it. Something for the younger generation to know what the generation before us really went through and lived in and all that. You can't forget where you came from, you can't forget your culture because that's, that's the main thing in life. It's nice to actually bring up young people to look through their history and what they came from and because nowadays most travellers live in houses and trailers and there's no, no one really lives on wagons anymore. 